Hey guys, what is going on? I'm Fahad Kid here. Today I'm bringing you a video, obviously, about um, basically how Halo 4, uh, Halo Master Chief Collection must uh, sell well and have good first impressions. Now, obviously Halo 4 um, came out and didn't give the, the right first impressions. I mean, uh, the ordnance, the, you know, like the DMR was overpowered, the BR wasn't powerful enough. You know, it... It's, it put the game on the wrong foot right off the start, and and of course that is where Halo lost its uh, its enormous amount of population went within the first couple of months of game, and uh, you can see that by how actual long lasting Halo Reach was in comparison, where people actually slaughtered Halo Reach for not being good, like the Bloom ruined the game and stuff. However, Halo Reach, I don't know if you saw IGN's recent video. Actually, I think it was. 8 million units I think it, uh, 9 million it actually sold so yeah that's a that's a stonking number for a game that was actually criticised as something that wasn't particularly good um, and because of um, Halo 4's like disabilities I guess you can call it they sort of lacked at the first hurdle and uh, hopefully um, in this time in Halo Master Chief Collection that won't happen um, they'll actually come out strong right off the blocks like whenever you're going to a job interview the first impression you make on the customer will stick it will be the thing they will remember if you walk in hands in pockets baggy trousers looking like you don't care they are not going to give you another chance they're going to see someone that doesn't care and will give it to someone who gives a good first impression now that is what we want from the master chief collection um, and that from the RTX Expo they have done so much stuff that is right Firstly, unlike the um, Halo 1 Anniversary, they've kept the original multiplayer. So you can actually have the choice of playing Halo 2 Anniversary or the um, the old multiplayer. So, with the like all the button glitches and stuff. <laughs> now, in, uh, in the um, Anniversary, they've tried to keep uh, the original sandbox together. They've tried to keep the movement, uh, the movement, like, the way the obviously the player moves, the weapons, the equipment and the vehicles all quite similar which is obviously a brilliant thing for the game because the last thing you want for an anniversary game is changing the core mechanics of the game I mean where's the point in that let's be honest they're also bringing back uh, the old game types, they're bringing back CTF CTF, what, uh, Assault which I'm really glad to see, Territories is coming back and also in the anniversary they're bringing back they're bringing new game types in like Ricochet which I have to admit was actually a really good game type uh, an infection online because remember Halo 2 not many people have managed to experience the Halo 2 multiplayer so infections come into multiplayer and so is SWAT also the and the assault rifle the, the science SMG and of course the, the gun goose I mean come on I mean that is just awesome and if you do not like any of these changes just remember these will not stick you do not have to play the anniversary game what 343 industries have done is they have allowed flexibility to rule this um, to rule this game anyway guys this has been a super short video very informative basically the point that I'd like to get across is 343 have came up are gonna come out the blocks quickly and will actually stifle the gaming industry they will they can show that they have given a choice to the gamers the, the players the fans of Halo you can play old Halo you can play old Halo 2 you can play new Halo 2 you can play remastered ascension and coagulation or you can play the old maps they're giving you a choice and a choice is the best thing you can have anyway guys i've been fire kid i hope you have enjoyed this short but snappy video like subscribe twitter and twitch and i'll see you guys all next time peace out